Mr. Speaker, Canadians expect that when a serious crime is committed in this country, the individual responsible for the crime faces an appropriate sentence. But for far too long in this country, individuals convicted of murder have been eligible to apply for parole. Why are the rights of criminals being placed ahead of the rights of law-abiding citizens? And what message does this send to the families of murder victims and their communities? To the Minister, could you explain how the government's faint hope legislation will help victims of crime in this country? Honourable Minister of Justice. Her support and uh, Mr. Speaker, this government believes that the crime of murder deserves serious time. And this is why we're getting rid of the loophole for lifers, Mr. Speaker. Criminals who commit first or second degree murder will no longer be able to apply for early parole. And Mr. Speaker, we're going to support those families who don't want to be victimized over and over again at parole hearings. We stand by those victims, Mr. Speaker. Now, the Liberals and the NDP haven't made up their mind on this legislation, Mr. Speaker, but Canadians have. And they say, get this legislation passed.